Hello guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. We are all pretty much familiar with the Arctic as a brand which for the most part makes CPU air coolers and actually not so long ago we did a review of their new i32 model. Today on the other hand we have something different, something which represents their so to speak first try in this segment and that's an all-in-one water cooling solution for the CPUs called Liquid Freezer 120. Right from the start, if we didn't have any pictures, it would be really hard to guess that something along the line of a complete water cooling solution hides inside of the box. As the packaging is ridiculously small for this kind of product, I was really speechless. But on the other hand, Arctic is known, at least in my book, for being very compact when it comes to product packaging. Except the big picture on the front, going around the box you'll come across on some useful and detailed informations like your usual specifications for each component, overview of technologies used in the cooler and a brief performance overview based on a certain CPU and some additional pictures of the unit. Opening up the box you can see how everything is neatly laid out and put together. Here we have the back panel mounting plates and intel brackets together with all the necessary screws for the installation, AMD holding bracket for the pump, user manual, two 120mm fans, and here we have the cooler itself. Right away you can notice that this is not your usual example of 120mm all-in-one water cooler as this model comes in with a thick 49mm radiator and a pretty densely packed fins. In translation this in practice ensures even better overall cooling performance. On the top part of the radiator you can see the bigger portion of the reservoir and coming from it we have two thick rubber tubes going to the CPU block. The tubes are very flexible although not that long but they don't really need to be since the CPU socket is close to the back exhaust of the chassis which is the spot where we in 99% of the time usually install water cooling AOs like this one. The CPU block and the water cooling pump are housed in this simple and elegantly designed casing with a non-glowing Arctic logo on the top which sits on this glossy part which is something we could live without just fine. Turning the block to the other side you will see a decently polished and large copper base which goes directly into contact with the CPU. One more advantage which Arctic's Liquid Freezer 120 has over the most AOs on the market lays in the fact that it brings two fans. Both of those are coming from the Arctic's F12 fan series and they are particularly optimized for high airflow and low noise. Their cables are nicely braided while also being really long, supporting on the connector end a 4-pin PWM connection and a split cable with another 4-pin connection point. Installation of the cooler was pretty easy and straightforward. First we installed both of the fans to the radiator and after that we continued on to the socket installation. Since the test platform in question was the Intel's X99, the process of installing the CPU block onto the socket was basically done in under 2 minutes as the back plate and the screw points are already in place. Handling our Core i7-5960X was a piece of cake for this cooler, idle temperatures were in the low 20s and under full load using the AIDA 64 stability test we were seeing temperatures well below the 50 degrees Celsius border which is really impressive. Putting some overclocking in the mix at 4.5 GHz and 1.371 volts on all 8 cores we occasionally saw some CPU throttling with temperatures ranging from 70 to 85 degrees Celsius depending on the core but basically well below 90 degrees Celsius mark. Besides the decent cooling performance, the Liquid Freezer 120 also performed really good in the noise department where the only thing you could hear was the pump. I'm not saying that it was loud on the contrary, but it was still nonetheless audible on an open test bed, which is not a big surprise for a pump, while despite having two fans, both of them combined were barely making any noise. Thank you guys once again for checking out our unboxing and review of the Arctic Liquid Freezer 120 all-in-one water cooling solution. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can just check out our other videos from before.